What it is, YouTube, it's your boy Stacy Casey, whatever she want to call me, and she knows she is. Hmm. But um, check me out. I'm coming to you today with a reaction video to some crazy shit. Um, uh, adult, what was this shit called? Adult performance answers questions you've always had. Interesting. So I think the main question is the size matter. This is from adult performers. Um, adult performers. I guess that's what they call them. So this video makes sure it gets monetized. Uh, this is a BuzzFeed video. Shout out to BuzzFeed. But um, I'm gonna check this shit out. React to it because y'all wanna know. You know these questions we all gonna ask. You know. So let's let's fuck with this shit. But before we play this video, react to this video. Make sure you subscribe now if you're new to the channel. And also, like the video up, feel me? Like this video up for the boy. I'm sorry, but I am on a boats and hoes cup. Boats and hoes, boats and hoes. I gotta have me and my boats and hoes. Shout out to the stepbrothers, you feel me? I'm on my Patron and my boats and hoes cup. I'm always had some shit in my boats and hoes cup, you know me? So I'm all about some boats and hoes, but I am a faithful man. But we both like both and hoes, boats and hoes together. But um, that's neither here nor there. Um. But yeah, so that should have gave me enough. That should have gave you enough time to like this video. If you haven't do it right now, did it? You did it? Did you do it? Do it? Did it? Let's get into this video. Let's see what these these um adult performers say about these certain questions. That, yeah, bit my tongue. Bit my tongue. But let's see what these adult performers have to say about these questions that we've always have. What are the answers? What are the answers? I keep thinking that there's going to be like an action. <laughs> it's not porn. I'll do one for you. Okay. Action. I am Jason Love. I'm a sexual artist. Hi, I'm Angela White, and I'm an adult performer, producer, and director. I sexual artist. I'm a sexual artist too, you know? I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna use that shit. Tori Black. Interesting name with this aesthetic. Interesting name. Kendra Sunderland. I don't watch too much white porn, you know? I watch, I watch a whole lot of amateur porn. So I don't like to know the names. I've been wanting to know the backstory to whatever happened, how they end up fucking the shit, but. Yeah. I'm Kendra Sunderland, and I'm here with Tori Black, ooh, ooh. and we're going to answer the questions about porn that you are too scared to ask. If you could do a triple X parody, what would it be, and who would you play? I want to be a Little Mermaid. Oh my god! Is that what you're going to pick? No! Because they asked me to do the Little Spermaid. <laughs> <laughs> hey bro, why does a fucking porn... Remakes it. Porn just had the funniest titles. One thing about porn, bro, like I love porn that has like fucking storylines to them. That shit is fucking hilarious, I promise. I love seeing the bad acting. And um right now, bro, it's all like the most popular porn right now is a step but a porn, stepsister porn. That shit funny as fuck, bro. You be like, hey, if I see you got a bad bad grade of your test, I'ma tell mom. No, please don't tell my mom. I'm going to tell your mom. Please don't do it. Well, only way I won't do it if you suck my dick. Well, okay. And then the bitch starts sucking the, 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 the nigga dick. And, um, and then they fuck like two more times. They always like fuck two more times after the first time. And um, she always be like, the second time, be like, Oh my gosh, why are you here finding me naked? And be like, I don't know. And they still have sex after that. Cause like, it's fucking weird. It's really fucking weird, but I just keep watching cause it's interesting as fuck. I don't know why. That's like the only reason I will watch white people porn because white people porn have, have like some deep damn storylines to it. It's interesting. Kind of sick sometimes, but it's interesting to say the least. Black people, they just get straight to it. You turn the video, they just sucking dick already. 
I really like watching Law & Order, so I would do Law & Order SVU just so I could be iced tea. If I could be iced tea, I could just bust in when people are like fucking and be like, drop your dick. What? <laughs> <laughs> drop your dick. It's the funny shit. <laughs> Drop your dick. What's your favorite scene you've done? I recently did a scene with Manuel Ferrara. My vixen scene with Manuel Ferrara. Mm, good pick. I was just about to say that was my favorite scene too. I just really? did one with Manuel Ferrara. <laughs> he just talks. Did this nigga Manuel just drop a dick on everybody? I don't know the fuck Manuel is, but shit, shots at the Manuel. I can't, I can't pronounce the last name. Ferrara, Ferrara, probably the same. I ain't never, I don't know if I've ever seen a scene with that with fool in it. I watched my sad porn, but like I told you, I like amateur porn, but all these, all these women love some Manuel, okay? Shout out to Manuel. It's dirty so much that I'm like, and he does it in French too. Yes. You know, I'm like, just, just do it. And you're like, Manuel. Does your family know what you do for a living? Mine do, and they don't. Manuel look like the nigga from um. Let me bring it back. Manuel look like the nigga from Captain America. He's like the nigga from Captain America that uh that was on Hyga. What? A, I can't. I can't think of the nigga name. But y'all know the nigga from Captain America, man. He killed himself because he was trying to ask. He was trying to kill Captain America in Civil War at the beginning of the movie. I don't know that nigga name, but he like fool though. I'm from Miami. We call people fool. Does your family know what you do for a living? Mine do, and they don't care. My family does. Cause you would do. You fucking know what I do. I've been very open and honest. Not saying it's any different between a woman fucking, but. It, those fucking people understand that shit. Women fucking people be more like less understanding, but I'm off with equal, equal, equal rights and equal fucks. That's my family from the very beginning. My family do. Mom and dad. Mom, dad, and daughter. I got caught doing a webcam show in my school library. So I'm known as library girl and that's how I got into it. So all my family saw in the like news that I was girl. playing with myself in the school library and that I got arrested <laughs> for it. What's your daughter say? I had to break that down to a complete verbal science. Skip the birds and the bees, let's talk about porn. Do female porn stars actually reach climax? I like the way they I say bet you should be asking question. this one. <laughs> do they actually the reach question. climax? Yeah. Some do, some don't. It's just like at home. Some fake it and some don't. I try to every time. Yeah. Ain't no faking when she's squirting. Shouts out the bay. Yeah, I try to. I'm like, I'm gonna ride your face until I bust a nut. Oh, I just thought about something. It's the only one way to face squirt. <laughs> For me, always. But how do you know they're not faking it? Even That's the question. You, you cannot fake the body movements that I create. <laughs> when a scene is over-directed and they tell you, come right. I feel my dog, you man. I feel that boy. Can't fake this. What I do, when I do what I do, I do it. Now you're so hyper aware of yourself that yeah. it's hard to get lost enough to orgasm. You cannot fake science. Science, liquids, you can't fake that. Do you have a satisfying sex life outside of work? Yeah. So oh. I definitely think at home sex is way better. At home, you can just go to town over in the corner. And yeah, and get tired and just lay down and catch your Britain and get back in. You know, exactly. when you're at work, it's like. Rabbits. <laughs> Have you ever fallen for a co-star? I wouldn't say fallen. I've had like a crush. Yes, it happened. Definitely. Yes. Who are your crushes? Hey man, so was hot. So was ties. I so was ties. It don't matter if you getting paid to fuck. You still fucking. Oh, I like fell for them sexually and then couldn't wait to have sex with them again. But as far as emotionally, I actively turn off that option. When you have that kind of intimate connection, you can't just turn it off. I'm sorry, but keep, I'm sorry that I keep pausing it, but they just say saying some shit and I want y'all to hear me, but I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm sorry.
with somebody, it's mm -hmm. hard to just break it off. Right, you get butterflies and yeah. you're like, oh my god, you're dicking me down so good. If it's fun on camera, imagine when there's a It's gonna be great when there's no camera. The size matter. Well, wait, I... The size matter, I knew it, I knew it. Exactly, like I can't really answer that question. Size does not matter mm -hmm. because what good is a big dick if you don't know how to the use motion it. of the ocean? My problem is like actually going to defecate in my dick falling in the water. And people think bigger is always better, but like I personally don't like huge, huge sticks. Yep. I've heard girls say guys with little, little penises, like if they're working it right, they're killing it. And some girls tell me it's too big. If I feel like a little red. Hey, y'all boys in a little dick game, they say y'all got a chance out there, man. I'm not part of y'all group, I'm part of the girl community, not the little dick community. So, at least I was told, you know? But I felt ripped before, so I know I'm good. I done felt the rib, so I know I'm safe. Remnants, like, oh, I'm a little sore. That's kind of playful, that's kind of fun. But if I'm walking around like, <gasps> <laughs> it really isn't about size. She remind me of uh, white chicks with chick was walking around with the goddamn. Yeah, uh, yeah, know what I'm talking about. Watch, watch white chicks, you know what I'm talking about. Uh. It's about how you connect with the person. Yeah. You can have a little one or you can have mine. It doesn't matter. As long as you watch them, <laughs> you, you're going to win. Trust me. What's your best sex advice for non-porn stars? I like this question. Honesty is probably the best thing ever. Listening to like the body language, mm -hmm. not necessarily mm -hmm. what people say verbally because people lie. Like you're doing a great yeah. job yeah. lying. But lying. your hips don't lie. Right, exactly. If they're making mm -hmm. good faces or good movements that seem genuine, keep doing that. If you yeah. really want to get crazy with your girlfriend, yeah. chances are just sticking your finger right in her butt and not saying anything prior is not going to go over very well. So probably be like, hey, I want to put my finger in your butt. People always say we have the best jobs in the world. A job is a job. Sex work is work. It's work. I say it like this. There's some days I shouldn't get paid and there's other days I should get paid double. You know, I feel like our industry gets a really bad rap because people think that we're nasty, but we're nasty in all the right ways yeah. and not in the wrong ways. So actually most people in life are backwards. They're not as nasty and freaky as they should be. So it's like, you're the wrong nasty and we're the right nasty, so get like us. Interesting shit, man. Interesting shit. You never really know what somebody going through until you look at it from their own perspective. Damn, I thought, you know, these porn stars were fucking nymphomaniacs and just fucking it up because they like fucking it up, but it's a job. So it's interesting to hear that. Okay, okay. So I have new, new, new respect for porn stars, you know? Especially when they say that fucking off camera is, um, they prefer fucking off camera. So, because I always like found it crazy when porn stars actually had like significant others outside of the industry and their significant others were comfortable with it. That's a whole nother level of security to actually be comfortable with that shit. I'm like, could I do that shit? I don't know. I don't know. And, you know, I'm, Pretty sure my lady would never do that at all. She would never do porn, so I don't think I have to have to worry about that, you know. But I don't think I'd be in that. They'd be in that situation. So if you are somebody that could date a porn star or even a stripper, I don't. I don't even think I could do that shit. But you know, kudos to you though. That you are you are a secure person. You're secure as fuck. But shit, dog. That's all I gotta say, man. That was a dope little video, though. It's your boy Stacy, Casey, whatever she wanna call me, and she knows she is. And I'm signing out. If you haven't subscribed now to this page, make sure you drop a subscribe right now. And also like this video up for the one time, for the one times for the boy. And I'ma see y'all later. I'm out this bitch. Yo.